All right, here we go. 9.3, area of composite figures. I can find the area of composite figures. So a composite figure is a figure made up of simple geometric shapes. So it's like when you have a shape and you have a shape and you have a shape. So these are shapes we know, right? Half a circle, square, triangle. But together, if I don't draw their separated lines, it would kind of look like that, right? So that is how a composite figure works, is that we have one figure made up of more simple figures kind of like compound word, one word made up of two words, right? So a composite is similar. So here are all the formulas to find area of our simple geometric shapes. So we've got a triangle, area of a square, area of a rectangle, area of a parallelogram, and then an area of a trapezoid. So that way you just have all of them and can use them when you need to. So this composite figure has actually already been nicely divided. And so these dotted lines has divided these um, into shapes for us. Okay, but I'm going to use a color so you can kind of see them better. So here we have a parallelogram. Okay, so you can see that it's a quadrilateral with two parallel sides. And the area of a parallelogram, I'm going to do it in blue so you can see it, is base times height. So the base of the parallelogram is its bottom or top. So that's 10 centimeters. And the height is the actual uh, up-down height, and it's right here at one and a half. We're not gonna use this three because that's not the height of it. That's just that side. So by one and a half. So when we take 10 times one and a half, we get 15. So that's just the parallelogram. What we have to then do is find the area of this shape here. And this is actually a trapezoid. Okay, a trapezoid is a quadrilateral that has two parallel sides, or sorry, it has one parallel side. That's the top and the bottom. Okay, um, if I drew it upright, how you're kind of more used to seeing it, it would look like that. So it's upside down version of that. So in an area of a trapezoid, it's half the height times what we call base one and base two. And base one and base two just mean the top and the bottom, or in a sense, it's the two parallel sides. In this case, it is our top and bottom. And then the height, again, is the actual vertical up-down height. So we're going to take half. The height is one and a half. And the two bases... One of them is seven, it's right here. And I'm going to add that to the other base. Well, that's the same as my parallelogram, so it's 10. So seven plus 10 is 17. So we're going to take half times 1.5 times, and that's half, one and a half times 17. So one and a half times 17 gets us 25 and a half. And then we have to times that by a half. And you would get a total of 12 and 75 hundredths. So now that we have the area of the two pieces, we will add them together as one. So we'll do 15 
plus 12 and 75 hundredths. And so we would say our total area of this composite figure is 70, 27 and 75 hundredths centimeters. And so there's a composite figure, breaking up one shape into simpler shapes and then adding them back together. So sometimes they will give you it on a grid um, and you can actually just count them. But in a sense, we also cannot count them inside this half a circle because they're cutting pieces that we can't do. So we're just going to do it the same way, right? So this is our square. And the area of a square right here is the side and then just squared. The side of it is 10. So we're just going to do 10 squared which is going to get us 100. Now the area of the circle, which we just did last um, lesson, is the radius squared times pi. But this is a half a circle, so we're then going to divide it by 2. We're going to cut it in half because it's not a whole circle. So we're going to take the radius. Now the radius is half this diameter, which is 10. So the radius is 5, right? That's that little halvesy part. So we're going to go 5 squared times 3.14 divided by 2. So we would get 25 times 3.14 divided by 2. And when we take 25 times 3.14, we get 78 and a half. We're going to divide that by 2. Again, we're dividing by 2 because this is half a circle. And so we would get 39 and 25 hundredths. All right, so there's my two pieces. So I'm going to take my 100 and I'm going to add it to my 39 and 25 hundredths. Sorry, should have used the red there, but that's okay. And we add those together and we just get 139 and 25 hundredths. And we would say, it says M for us, so we're gonna say millimeters squared as well. Remember, area is squared because you're taking two measurements and multiplying them together. So here it's meters times meters, so it's squared, right? This would be meters squared here. This would be meters squared here. So unit times a unit gets you units squared. So that's why we always multiply what well, area is always units squared because we're multiplying two units together. Okay, so down below, I want to see if you can find the area of this composite figure. Um, I'll give you a hint. It's been broken into a rectangle and a triangle. Just be careful with the triangle's height. I'll give you a hint, it's not three. Okay, so pause here and see if you can find the area of that composite figure using the rectangle and the triangle. So for the rectangle, the area would just be length times width, which in this case is just 10 times four. So it gets us 40 feet squared. Now for the triangle, remember I told you there's, you got to be careful, area of a triangle is half the base times the height. So we're going to do half times six, but the height is actually seven. It's this three 
here with this four here. And so it's a total of seven. So if you didn't have seven in there and you had the height was three or the height was four, you need to fix that. So when we take half times six times seven, we get 21 feet squared. And then remember the last thing we have to do is add these back together. So we're gonna go 40 plus 21 and we would get 61 feet squared. And that's how you find composite figures. So things to remember. Uh, cut composite figures into shapes you know. Add the shapes together to get the total area. Area is units squared. All right, so down below is a composite figure. Now it has not been cut for you. So you're gonna draw in the lines to make shapes that you can find the area. So you wanna make them into triangles, rectangles, parallelograms, trapezoids. You're gonna cut that into shapes. I'll give you a hint. I would cut that into three shapes but you gotta figure out what shapes, okay? So make sure you draw the lines in, show your work, and we'll go over it next class. Until next time.